So I, next, the next thing here, you know, where are you on the timer scale? This is a little thing I made up. I call it old timer, good timer, part timer, full timer, and all timer. And it's just a gauge of how serious you are. First, the old timers are the ones that are stuck in their ways. They can't change. They don't want to learn anything new. Let me actually write this down for you. So old timers, they're stuck in the ways, don't want to learn. If you don't want to learn, why are you here? Why are you taking a course? Um, nothing new. Think they know everything. And I'll, I'll make a pin up of this. You know, I'll make a little uh, poster after this where you can just download it. You know, just keep it in mind. Are you an old timer? Is that you? You don't want to be. Because as technology and industries change, you are going to be left behind and you will become irrelevant pretty quickly. So if that's you, you know, even if it's hard to admit, it just takes a simple change of mindset to be open. Because there are people, there's always someone that does something better or more efficiently or has something to teach you. You can never know everything. Because if you did, you would be king of the world or something, right? No. So get over that. Next, we have a good timer. This is someone who's just out to have a good time. You know, maybe car flipping is going to fund their partying, their vacations, their just fun. You know, they're just out to. You know, if they make two grand on a vehicle, you can bet within two weeks um, they will spend it all on parties, alcohol, vacation, maybe something, I don't know, like new toys, whatever. Or, you know, they just, they just buy cars that are really cool and they overpay for them just so they can drive a really fun car. And maybe they'll make money later, maybe not. You know, that's a good timer. I notice a lot of times the uh, good timers are flashy. Um, you know, they they blow their money pretty quick. That's just that's just how it is. So, you know, yeah, we're, that's what we're looking at. It's not usually. Uh, you can I mean you can spot these people, or you know, if you are, you know, you know, because you probably party a lot, whatever. You just don't take it very seriously, and you know that's just that's okay, but that's not really a, that's not really a uh, path to your future. Now, a part-timer is, you know, just like the the title suggests, it's somebody who's probably in this part-time. You're not really taking it very seriously. And they might flip a car or two here and there. Maybe one a month, maybe one every two or three or four months, maybe one or two a year. And it's just not their main source of income. So it's just extra money, whether they, you know, reinvest it or they're just flipping a few cars to, you know, get a side savings account funded or you know just whatever it might be or maybe just to supplement the expenses you know whatever I don't know and then next we have the full timer which is you know someone whose car sales is their full time income you know whether they're a full time flipper you know at one point I was flipping like three to five cars a month but not a dealer yet and that's an example. Or they could be a licensed dealer or own some kind of auto-related business like a mechanic shop, body shop, you know, detail shop, whatever it might be. And, you know, you're getting by decent money. Though what you're making is either equal to or a little better than a job. You know, three to five, maybe up to 10000 a month. And that's great because if you're, if that's you and you're here, we can really help you take it to the next level. And really, if you're any of these levels, we can help you go to the next level whether you're going from here or here to here or here to here but the one level that is very very few people ever really get to or have the mentality is the all-timer and this is like all-time greats think Michael Jordan so if you're in a basketball I mean 
you know, full timer is like the pretty good solid players. A part timer is like you know bench players. Good timer is a guy that gets drafted and is uh, out of the league in a year. And the old timer is <laughs> like Donald Sterling. He got kicked out of the NBA, right? He owned the Clippers. They uh, he did some stuff and they got rid of him. So all timer, you're looking at you know Michael Jordan, LeBron James. This is when you're like obsessed, competitive. You want to maximize your potential. You want to squeeze as much as you can out of this industry. And you really want to change the industry. You want to create change and influence. These are people that have what I like to call a, uh, how did I put it? They bend the universe Okay, this is a distorted reality. That's it. So they have a distorted reality field where people and situations bend and contort to their will. Now, if that doesn't make sense, think Steve Jobs. So Steve Jobs had a vision of the world as he wanted it to be. And he went out there and made it. And people that worked around him, the business, you know, everybody, everybody conformed and bent around his goals and vision and reality. You can't go up to Steve Jobs and tell him, you can't go up there and tell him how the world is because that's not how the world he sees is. And this is how Michael Jordan is. You know, we all hear the stories about, you know, he get into trash talking and all of a sudden, you know, got 60 points in three quarters. You know, stuff like that where their mind creates their reality. And I can honestly say that a lot of success, I know for me and other people I know that are doing very well, it's because they have what you would call an unrealistic perception of reality because what they see isn't real. But through their will and work, and just pure determination and stubbornness, their perceived reality becomes a real reality. And I really, really hope that this portion sinks in because that is a life-changing piece of information. So that is that is my timer scale. The timer scale. Which one are you? For me, I've gone through you know pretty much all these levels and now I have reached here because it's not enough to just do well. I want to do as good as well as possible. 